Okay, Andrew123 here from followandrew.com. Uh, now, today we're just going to have a short video post on how to create images for your blog, Facebook, you name it. Okay, what I'm going to do is use two programs PowerPoint or presentation or whatever you call it, and Paint or Apple's version of Paint. Okay, now if we go to Google and say we want to do a an image for create a new list okay so let's just grab for arguments sake why don't we just do this one okay now what, what I do is go save image as and I'll just call it temp 01 save and then I come into PowerPoint okay we'll go to we'll go into here and we'll grab you can see how I've done lots of different images already so all it is is the image over a green background and to change the background color you can go right copy uh, right click backdrop a pop-up window should come and then you can just change the color and then apply and now it's yellow so what we do is we go insert graphics from file all right this is where i put it and it's temp temp01 there it is and we go open so we drop it in there we make it bigger okay and then we want to put like a silent in there so we go uh, where do we put insert text horizontal insert text box and then we go silent all right and we can change the font It's going to look good. We'll go impact, silent, make it bigger, change the size, and we can rotate it, and we can move it. Oh no, that's the moving the. Okay, we can move it, and then we can change the color color of the text you want a green for example all right so you can fiddle around you can drop text and other images on top and say you know if we want to insert um, graphics from file I can grab my PNG image reduce it down Drop that in the corner, although that's over, you know, going over the top of the writing. But for example, all right, then we can go insert graphics from file, and then we can go down and grab my follow Andrew logo, drop it down the bottom, make it a bit smaller. Okay, make sure it all sort of sits right. So there you go, that's an image. Just say I'm happy with that. What I do is I go shift print screen, then I go to paint, and then I go shift control V, which pastes it. So it pastes the screen. I move it over a bit, and then I click select, and then I grab around it, like so, and then crop and see it gets the image with the yellow around the outside now you can do it you can do a border by going clicking that selecting your color selecting your uh, size and then basically doing this 
Yes. You can do that as well. But I, I just find it easier doing it that way because sometimes you need to crop an image, save it, drop it into PowerPoint, drop your, uh, your logos in there. Now, just for example, so if you wanted to drop that once you've got it on the program, you can just go Control C or copy that little image, go up to a different one, and then paste. All right, you don't need to import it every time. You can come back to the other one. You could go that, uh, copy, come up to here, paste, move it in, into the location. Okay, there's another one. So it's very, very easy, and once you get the hang of this, you can knock out an image in a minute or two minutes. All right, it's a matter of finding the Google search, finding your base image, uh, jiggling it a bit, put your branding on it, save it with a border, um, so it just stands out rather than just have a straight image. Okay, so once you go to, to Paint, you can go File, Save As, and now you want it to be a JPEG file and then you save it in uh, your image file so that you can then post it wherever you like. So we can call that uh, temp02. Okay, so that image is saved. Now if we wanted to go to uh, Facebook for example, upload photo, and then you go temp1 which is there it is and you go uh, sorry it was temp2 wasn't it anyway upload photo temp2 open and there it is and you put some text in there typey typey type you know if you want more information click here or, or comment uh, more info in the, in the comments below uh, I'm, I'm not writing about copywriting here, it's about the images. So, and then you go post and it'll, I won't do that one because it's a bit of a yuppity 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 one. But let me show you an example. Good question, where is one? Oh, there's an image there. There, for example, I made that. It's a it's a graph from um, my custom audiences a few weeks ago. Put a border around it, posted it, did some text, see more. Comment and like, silent list in your personal or personal message, man. Look at this, silent list, silent list, silent list. Okay, so there you go. That's how to create images. Um, it's just a matter of getting the feel of it. But PowerPoint is very powerful in combination with Paint. All right, you can do a bit of both, and I, I quite often go from one to the other and then back again to get the image looking the way I want it, and then go from there. Before heading out, if, if leads are something that you need for your business and it's something that everyone needs, Pop on over to my blog or look in the, the bar at the bottom or I'll probably have a link for it down the bottom of this post or below the, below the video. Grab a copy of the Recurring Lead Generation Formula. It's an e-book that I've written. Uh, all you'll need to do is click the image, fill in your details and I'll email it straight off to you. And I hope you enjoy it. So for now, uh, it's Andrew out. Enjoy. And uh, if you do want to find out how to do some other stuff, come up here and search how to or come down to my categories and click on the how to categories and it teaches you how to do stuff. Okay. So for now, Andrew out. Catch you later.